Hey guys, let's see how to have this Tapo C200 working on a TV. Basically here I have a Fire Stick TV, okay? Here I have the remote control and also my cell phone in the Tapo app. You just need this to make it work. So basically here, I'm just going to load this Tapo app and make sure that I have my Tapo C100 working. Here we go. Then it's working back there. Then what I have to do here is just come to settings and then advanced settings. Okay. Create an account here. Enable and create an account. So here I have my account information already. Tapo C200. That's the username. And then I have the password 123456. That's the one that I'm using just for testing here. As long as you have your username and your password, you can select any one you want. You just come back here one more time and look in the network settings. Here, I'm going to see the IP address of the camera and I'm going to make a static IP. Okay. So at first the router gave the camera an IP address and then I'm just going to make it static so it doesn't change. Then I'm good to go. I just have my camera working here on my cell phone. Then it's good to work on the Fire TV, right? Let me just come to the Fire TV now. Just grab the remote control. And here I'm going to go to the menu. So I'm going to press here to go to the main menu. And I can look for this application here, which is the Tiny Cam. Okay, so just type here. Tiny, there we go, Tiny C, you just type Tiny C, you're going to find here Tiny Cam Pro. That's the one. Then you just need to install it. Here I already have the application, but in the first time you just need to buy it. There we go. Then you just need to download it. See here that I own the application already. I'm just going to download here. Just wait for it to finish. There we go. Open it up. I have this welcome screen, screen and just get it started. Okay. So the first screen that you're going to have this one, then you come here to manage your camera and you scan the network. As long as you scan the network, you're going to find the cameras available there. You see that I have a lot of them in the network. And something here that's not correct is the IP address. You see here that I have this camera with the IP address 192.168.4. something. Okay, it's a different network. So just make sure that you have your cell phone and your TV in the same network, your camera and your TV in the same network. So I'm gonna just come back here and come to the network. There we go. Network, you see here, they have this Max-24, but it's not this one that I want. I want to change it to this one. I have a different router here. This is my repeater. I'm going to connect to this one, my main router, okay? As long as I connect here, it's going to scan for the devices that are in this network. Come back. Now I have the app here. Come down. Tiny Cam Monitor Pro, and I'm gonna scan the network again. You see that starts back there. Now it's the different IP address it's scanning. See here, 10.0.0.1 until 10.0.0.254 on the top. And the percentage goes to up 100%. And you see that found my C100 here, my C216. And didn't find the C200 yet. Just wait for a while. So he didn't find the camera. Let me just scan one more time. There we go. Now I found it, C200. So let me just uncheck the other cameras here because I want to keep just one. See here, one of them I need to update the firmware because it has this message here that I need to update because there is some vulnerability. Okay, so later I'm going to update this one. And now I just check this C200. 
Come here to add the device in one camera edit. Okay. Then go up here again to the main menu and manage cameras. There we go. I have the C200. I go here to those three dots here on the this side. Okay. Three dots. Click on it. Edit. And here I have the camera name on VF protocol. I don't need to touch anything here. Just need to come here directly to username and password. And here I'm going to insert the username that I have there on my camera, which is top, all right, with the capital T. Let me just go here. Oops. T A P O, Tapo, capital C, and 200. That's the username that I put it there. Hit next. Okay, and then password. I'm gonna enter here one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the one I put it there on the camera as well. Hit OK. Come to the top and see it's failed for some reason. Just hit close here. And if I have the correct username and password, everything else should work fine. But for some reason it's not working. I'll just go to live view here and also come here to the camera and I see here that I have the top of C200. Perhaps I have more devices connected to the camera at the same time. You see that's running here. It's not working. So what I'm going to do here is just reload the camera. So it just restart it. There's this option to reboot the camera. Reboot camera. And wait for it to come back. It's going to come offline here. You see it offline. And then in a while it's gonna come back online again. Sometimes this just happens, right? If it's not working because the camera's, let's say it's online for a long time or have any other devices connecting to the camera or need the firmware update or something. Sometimes you have this kind of issues. Then you just need to restart your camera and also check all the information here. While it's restarting here, let me just come back here to the TV and show you here that you just need to come to the manage camera, CN your camera, double check here. C200, that's the name, the IP address, the one that we checked it there. Everything looks nice here. The name looks good, password looks good. Let's go to the main screen again and live. And see if it works now. And there we go. It's working now. Okay. So here I see on the cell phone that's back online as well. I was just restarting. And now it's online there. So here with the remote control, I can also use those keys here. I'm using this one to navigate here. See? And I can navigate there. And even control the camera here with the PTZ. There we go. Just press in here, right, up, and down. Basically controlling the camera with the remote control, okay? So it works with any Fire Stick and also the Amazon TV. And it works pretty well. As long as you have the application, you're good to go. Again, that's the Tiny Cam Monitor Pro. So you can have your Tapo C200 working on your TV. So leave your comments here. I hope this helps. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.